So welcome to uh, the digital slide box case of the day. We're going to talk a little bit today about uh, gynecologic tumor in this test orientation. Here you see the uh, uh, high yield sections, a variety of different options. And we'll uh, go to a case in the ovary section that uh, we entered a few weeks ago. Here's a nice uh, section of this tumor. And you see at low power, we have a little bit of ovarian structure out here and what looks like the neoplasm here. We go to higher magnification, we can move around. We see that this is quite a vascular tumor. It's got some large vessels here and uh, a lot of very congested small vessels here. Uh, this illustrates the packeted nature of this tumor. <clears throat> Notice that at no low power, we didn't see any um, evidence of necrosis in this tumor. And uh, on higher magnification, we can see that these uh, tumor cells have fairly uniform round nuclei, small nucleoli, and slightly lacy uh, cytoplasm. We've noticed the high vascularity in between tumor cells. Uh, we don't see any particular high grade anaplasia to the cells. We don't see areas of uh, mitotic activity if we scan around. Uh, we can look for quite a while and not find mitoses in this tumor. Um, and so what sorts of tumors in the ovary will give you this sort of an appearance? Well, we might think about Sertoli cell tumors as a possibility. They can have clear cytoplasm, fairly uniform nuclei, and have a packeted appearance. Um, granulosa cell tumors also can have sort of packeted appearance, but we'd usually expect to see more follicular type structures or um, that sort of thing, um, and maybe a little bit more multinodular appearance. <clears throat> uh, steroid cell tumors can also have this uh, pattern of appearance. So the things that would perhaps help us to uh, uh, recognize that, uh, we'll look here and see some of the particular features um, of this tumor. We see that uh, here <clears throat> the tumor cells are arranged in nested arrangements uh, with a surrounding nice capillary network. We'll just go to high magnification to see that. Uh, looking here at <clears throat> the next annotation, nuclear configuration, the nuclei are round uh, with very inconspicuous uh, nucleoli small chromosome centers. The tumor cytoplasm, tumor cell cytoplasm is remarkable for slightly lacy appearance. <clears throat> this would not be terribly characteristic of uh, carcinoid tumors or of um, most uh, uh, Sertoli cell tumors would not have this sort of cytoplasm. And then the final annotation here in this case. These tumors are usually highly vascular with sharp borders. Reticulin stain could be useful in this uh, type of neoplasm to highlight this architectural feature uh, as well. So the final diagnosis in this case is that of a Sertoli cell tumor and one that, excuse me, a steroid cell tumor <clears throat> that uh, is occurring in the ovary, producing uh, some sort of a hormonal stimulus. And these can not infrequently be associated with uh, endometrial manifestations of uh, hormone secretion and even secondary sex characteristics uh, typical of <clears throat> the uh, uh, hormonal stimulation. <clears throat> 